What's up guys, Blademaster here with another Total War Rome 2 online battle. This is another one that's fought in Blade Balance. Thank you to Mr. Sniffles from the Zeal Clan for sending this to me. He promised this would be a very good game. Uh, it's a barbarian on barbarian engagement fought in the map of Aktau, which is seemingly it looks awesome. I mean, I haven't played in this map before, but honestly, this map should be included in more tournaments and like regular battles. Awesome, yeah. The... Um, I'll put this back in uh, cinematic mode. So this is, um, uh, I'll put the thing, the little mini map on the bottom left. This is Mr. Sniffles. He's playing as, <laughs> it's like, oh, this is Mr. Sniffles. Hey, Sniffles. Uh, Sniffles is playing as uh, Boyai. And uh, his opponent is fighting as the Odrissian Kingdom. So interesting, because Odrissian Kingdom is buffed. Uh, Boyai, not so much. No, it hasn't been buffed. In Blade Balance 2.0, the... Um, uh, Heavy Horse actually has 85 health here, you can see it's 90, it's just a slight little nerf that uh, could possibly change stuff up. Let me go ahead and go offline. So, uh, Mr. Sniffles has brought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, Levy Freeman. He's got a couple of Heavy Horse, only a couple of Heavy Horse, very strange. He's brought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Sword Followers uh, and 3 Old Sword for a total of... Uh, Oh, and there we go. There's a... Uh, oh, there are four. Okay, cool. <laughs> four heavy horse and three Otsu. Meanwhile, for um, for his opponent, we have one, two, three, four, five, six Thracian warriors and uh, seven, eight, nine Thracian warriors. <laughs> nine Thracian warriors. <laughs> and three Thracian nobles. Holy shit. Okay, and we've got one, two, three three Thracian slingers no uh, we've got two Thracian nobles including and a uh, two Thracian royal cavalry including Thracian royal cav general who's also strategist looks like we probably have a couple of mercenary hoplites and a couple of spears now I would much rather bring two mercenary veteran hoplites instead of two mercenary hoplites already shit's going down wow the heavy horse gets a clean charge on Thracian warriors they do take a lot of damage on the charge but then the heavy horse this is not a good engagement for the heavy horse because they just take so much damage they can't really get out of this of this, um, you know, uh, fox meat grinder. They get 45 kills, but then die. That's really not a cost-effective use for heavy horse, I think. And they're going to die. Um, so this second heavy horse is going to come in, and it's going to get a charge, and it will do very well on the charge, but after that, again, it's going to take a lot of damage, I think. And then the Thracian Royal Cavalry General is actually coming in here. Wow, this shit's got real. This is going to last for 25 minutes. Okay, and he pulls out the Heavy Horse just in time. Excellently done, but he's taken so much damage here. The Heavy Horse is already down by 16 men. This is much more cost effective. You can see the Thracian Royal Cavalry uh, got a nice charge, pulled away. Old Sworn is now going to be able, uh, is now getting chased by um, by uh, Thracian Warriors. But now Zeal, uh, Mr. Sniffles is going to bring in his Levy Freeman. They get a crucial Precursor Javelin Volley getting 6 kills and then pulling back. This is excellently done all, all across the field. One of the Thracian Warriors is dead. But two Thracian Warriors are still at like uh, full strength. And for the most part, they've traded pretty cost effectively. The Thracian Warriors are going to get a final charge before dying. They're going to get maybe one kill, two kills. Let's see if they get that experience shot. Nah, they, they die. Uh, they just needed like a couple more and then they would have gotten it. They, wow, they, they fought until like four men, which is just crazy. These two Thracian Warriors overextended to say the least, but I don't know, like... If you're going to have three Thracian Warriors, it's going to be such a... That's interesting. If you have like three Thracian Warriors, they are just so much in number that nothing other than uh, missiles, like a barrage of uh, arrows or slingshots can really kill them off. It's going to pull them back. This is not how you want to face them. Um, the Thracian Warriors don't have great morale, so this rear charge uh, from the Heavy Horse is just going to slaughter them. If you just counter charge the Heavy Horse, the Heavy Horse would have taken so much damage, I think. So, well done here. Killing off a lot of Thracian Warriors with the second charge from the Heavy Horse um, was much better for Sniffles. And here Thracian Royal Cavalry come in to destroy the Heavy Horse on the charge and they get a lot of kills on the Levy Freeman as well, I would presume. But two, another Levy Freeman coming in and the Oath Stone is also there to support. So honestly, I'm not really sure if this is a good idea, charging in the Thracian Royal Cav so quickly. Because the Thracian Warriors are going to do not very well against the, against the Oath Stone. I mean, sure, they'll get a good number of kills and maybe inflict a lot of HP damage, but at the end of the day, you're going to probably lose a very important unit in the Thracian Royal Cav. He's killed off the second heavy horse, though, which is, I, I think, is amazing. So he's killed off two of the four heavy horse of Sniffles, which is really good. Uh, he's lost two Thracian warriors, his opponent, uh, Sniffles' opponent, 
and uh, his third Thracian warrior is just about dead, hasn't got that experience upgrade. And here we're going to see the Thracian warriors just destroy the Levy Freeman on the charge. They got 15 kills on Thracian warriors just through that one precursor volley. And here this Thracian warrior is going to destroy this Levy Free. Uh, for the most part, Levy Free are not very powerful now. I mean, they, before they used to be the best, second best uh, low tier spear unit in the game. Now, not so much. They're still very handy, but they're relegated back to their original role of being primarily a meat shield and not something that can kill everything willy-nilly through their precursor volleys. So here the th uh, Thracian Warriors down to 55 men, gotten 83 kills, this old one is down to 91 men. And ooh, beautiful javelin volley there, but they haven't killed many. Uh, and then the Heavy Horse is going to come in for a beautiful charge. Let's see if the uh, Thracian Warrior charge is really inflicting any damage. They're getting one kill, two, three, yeah, three, four, four kills on Heavy Horse. And they did lose uh, quite a few men. But you can see the Heavy Horse, I think it was probably a not full strength, but probably around 50 men, now they're down to 42, which is a lot of units to die. And here the Sword Follower is going to come in and get a beautiful charge. And so far, you know, this this engagement, I think, it's hard to decide where whose favor is gone in. A lot of Thracian Warriors have died, uh, but a lot of Heavy Horse have died, and the Thracian Warriors are not very expensive, and there are Thracian Warriors aplenty for uh, uh, Sniffles' opponent. And for the most part, they've traded decently with uh, the much more superior um, Oath Stone and Sword Followers. But at the end of the day, you're going to want to kill off the infantry and, you know, losing a lot of your infantry is definitely not the way to go if you want to kill off the enemy infantry. Maybe bringing some Thracian Peltis would have been very handy for Snipples' opponent. Right now we have, uh, uh, you know, his his me melee infantry line is basically intact. This one Oatsone could be uh, a concern, especially if it runs into something like a Thracian warrior. Uh, I mean, a, a Thracian noble. God, these guys are going to get chewed up on the charge. You can be damn sure that they've lost a ton of HP already because of, um, you know, all those Thracian warriors and all those foxes. But I think the Thracian nobles are somewhere hidden deep in the forest. I don't really know why he's so afraid to put, to put them all the way up in front because there's no real missiles or missile threat for them to be, for him to be worried about. Thracian slingers, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he utilizes them. I don't really know why he brought the Thracian slingers. Maybe bringing just a couple would have been good enough because the Thracian slingers, their shitty lead shot is not going to do much against anything except maybe uh, rear shots against sword followers or rear shots against any infantry. Against the heavy horse, they might inflict some casualties. If there's any uh, depleted heavy horse like this one, they'll do a lot of damage. So yeah, in, those, in that sense, they'll be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, it seems like they'll be of limited use in this battle. He's spreading his units incredibly wide, covering a huge amount of area that is Sniffles' opponent, trying to surround his uh, his units, uh, sorry, his opponent. You can see a Thracian warrior here uh, behind the forest, and there's a Thracian royal cap that's coming into support. Um, let's see. Lots of levy free and old sworn. I don't know why he's decided to engage so prematurely and so in such a piecemeal fashion. You don't. I don't think you'd want to use Thracian, uh, the uh, Odrissian Kingdom, in such a piecemeal fashion. But he's going to get a beautiful charge in with his uh, Odrissian Kingdom here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> with his uh, with the Thracian Royal Cavalry here. He had a single experience chevron, but the old sworn heavy horse support is just going to kill them off without them inflicting too much damage. He should have timed it in better with the Thracian warriors. If the Thracian warriors were in here right now, he could have pulled the Thracian royal cavalry without too much of a problem. But as it stands, they're going to die without inflicting too much damage. These are units that can definitely get, and you should aim for them to get the double XP chevron, especially against a Boyai army where you've killed off two heavy horse. Once he killed off the two heavy horse, he must have, he should have realized that, you know, the tides. And the tide has changed incredibly in his favor. He's got a lot of uh, maneuverability and you know superior quality in his cavalry, so he should have used them not so prematurely, I think, but not so aggressively. Here, the, this is a beautiful charge. A little bit of miss micro here from Sniffles, and he's going to get severely punished for that. Uh, 15 bonus versus logic with the Thracian Royal Cavalry, along with an excellent melee attack, means that they're going to destroy this heavy horse, tanky as they may be. And now the Thracian Royal Cavalry is pulling pull, pulling out. Uh, it's still got 25 men. They're incredibly tanky with that 90 armor and 100 health. And uh, they're going to be able to pull out fairly effectively because the Thracian Warriors finally came in to help support. And then they're going to kill off this heavy horse. So hopefully they can kill off this, hopefully for Sniffles' opponent, they can kill off this heavy horse quick enough so that they can pull away and run away. But it's not going to be, that's that's why the heavy horse is, that's why um, Boyai and the Barbarian spam is so effective because the heavy horse is so tanky. They, you know, can take charges on charges and still, like, not really die. You can see that rear charge from one of the most powerful melee cavalry in the game. While they didn't, while the Thracian Royal Cavalry didn't take any casualties, it just took so much time to kill off the heavy horse. And that meant that this Thracian Royal Cavalry has died. Granted, I mean, you have to 
um, chide <laughs> to, uh, Sniffles' his opponent there for not, you know, utilizing the Station Warriors in better um, uh, coordination with the Station Royal Cav. But all in all, you know, that's one of, that's a big part of why Boyai is so incredibly strong is that it's not only that they have excellent cost-effective infantry, a lot of factions actually have very cost-effective infantry, or Jason Kingdom included, but they just have that perfect unit in the in the heavy horse that has just amazing health, amazing armor, good morale. Uh, 55 morale is decent actually, but good armor, good health, just allows them to stay on. And they have Frenzy Charge too, which allows them to be unbreakable, so they literally have 100 morale if you use them correctly. So yeah, they have that, and that means that enemy factions cannot, you know, bulldoze through the flanks as quickly as they'd want to, because you can be damn sure that Boya is going to win the center of the battlefield with their excellent mainline infantry. So that's kind of what happened there. It's a, it's a microcosm of what happens in, you know, traditional barbarian or barbarian engagements in Total War Room 2 that I'm... You know, I don't really want to change it completely in Blade Balance, but I kind of want to tweak it a little bit so that, you know, the, the shittier factions, quote-unquote shittier factions, have a chance. So, uh, a 5 reduction in health to the Heavy Horse, I think, is a good um, is is a good middle ground. Let's see. I mean, I haven't really played too many Barbarians in Blade Balance. Uh, especially, I haven't played with Boya and stuff. I've shied away with Boya for a really long time. Just don't really like playing with them. Uh, call me a hipster. I don't really like playing with the with the overpower factions, but that's never been what I'd want to. I mean, I've never really wanted to play with them uh, too much. Thracian Slingers still. I think they've only got what eleven three kills. I guess they were fighting before. Do they have their swords out? Swords out, boys? No, no, no. They have their slingshots, of course. Thank God, because otherwise they'd just be. Wow, that would be a massive waste of money if they just got eleven three and four kills and they were out of ammo. So here, Spear is going to give chase to the Levy Free. Uh, might just bait a nice volley from the uh, Sword Followers. But no Sword Followers pulling back by uh, uh, for Sniffles. They're going to get chased away by Thracian Nobles. Really don't want to get into the Thracian Nobles here. The Mercenary Hopper Day seems almost too far away from the Thracian Noble support. And yeah, in this case, they can probably just get isolated by the, Thracian, uh, by the Sword Followers. But that's why he's using the Spear to hold down some of the Sword Followers. Uh, and you know, so, so that they won't come in and hit this uh, solitary hoplite. Ideally, what he'd want is a spear to engage the uh, levy free for the sword followers to come in here and then for his station nobles to get a rear charge. Let's see if that happens. We can see this happening the sword followers coming into the mercy hoplites. Hoplites get a charge in, immediately would want to pop hoplite phalanx. So now he's going to use the spearmen to uh, the, the Dacian spears to charge into the levy free. If he can get the oath sworn as well. Uh, to attack, then that would be the dream situa situation for him. But his opponent is not going to let that happen. So the Hoplites here are going to take a lot of damage, but they will last for a slight bit of, a slight bit of time. But yeah, <laughs> wow, how the fuck did I predict that exact thing was going to happen? Pretty cool. Blade Balance, uh, Nosfer uh, what's his name? Uh, Nostradamus. I was going to say Nosferatu. <laughs> he, he, I'm a vampire soothsayer. Uh, who can who predicts the future? Um, so Thracian nobles here tired because they've been running around, but get a flank charge onto the sword followers. Immediately, sword followers losing this battle. They're, the Thracian nobles are on headhunt now. Uh, Mercy Hoplite still not on Hoplite phalanx. I would suspect that uh, Sniffles just doesn't trust Hoplite phalanx right now, especially if it bugged out. Then the sword followers would have just cleaved them in two. Uh, 97 men left on the Thracian nobles, but have got 50 kills on a mixture of sword followers and Oathsworn. Well, mainly sword followers. The Oathsworn are getting high value kills in the Thracian nobles. Here, uh, the Thracian warriors getting uh, they, they caught the levy free, and then the sword followers came into support. Beautifully done by the opponent there. Thracian nobles here getting 12 kills on levy free, then immediately pulling back so that the Oathsworn come into contact with the spears, and then this spear is going to hold off this Oathsworn. What exactly is Sniffles thinking? I'm not really sure. Um, because if he holds down this old swan with the spear, where else can he? How can he get a charge in? There's no opening for him to get a charge with this Thracian noble. The Thracian royal cavalry general is just chilling uh, at the back, but he's getting good shots in with his uh, slingers. Beautifully done here. This is an excellent battle. 
uh, and really thanks to Mr. Sniffles for bringing this to me. This is just beautifully done. He's getting good shots in with the station slingers, and you know this is exactly what I was telling you guys about. They he's wait, waited until he can get good angles because he knows that the slingshot that they wheel is just shit. So he's waited until they get good angles on the most high value target before uh, focus firing onto that. But here the, with frenzy charge, this heavy horse is going to crash into them, and his support is too far away. So wow. That kind of worked against him. But here, the spear is still holding down the Levy Freeman. The spears are going to win out, I think. No, they're uh, combat even. Mercy of Hoplites, the sword follower still remain. Jesus Christ. And now the Mercy of Hoplites is going to pop Hoplites Phalanx. They have no other choice. And thankfully, Hoplites Phalanx is not bugging out, it looks like. Thankfully for Mr. Sniffles. One Thracian Slinger, not dead, only still at 60 men. And this heavy horse is bound to shatter very soon because they're at 12 men. They're tired. And um, they've done pretty decently for themselves. And now the Thracian Slinger is going to charge into them. Wow, okay. And then he's just going to eat the charge and then he's going to sh shoot from this side with the with the other Thracian Slinger and just kill them off. Two Thracian Nobles still remain, one at 88 men, one at 120 men. This is just very high level play that, uh, you know, to be honest, I didn't really expect from, uh, because this is, in, this is stuff that I ha I've hardly ever seen. Um, from, you know, either player. I don't know who the opponent is, but very well done by the opponent. And first part, you know, Sniffles is also doing very well. Uh, he's holding, he's done the the uh, very, very right things. He's used his Levy Freeman to hold out the, uh, or to absorb the charge. Brought in the Sword Followers. You can see the Sword Followers in 96 kills against Thracian Warriors. You can be damn sure that if the Thracian Warriors got a, got a clean charge on, on the Sword Followers, they would be at like 70 or 60. Uh, because the, the Thracian Warriors are probably the best unit to punch above their weight class against enemy infantry. And here this Mercenary Hoplite is now actually winning slightly against the Sword Followers. So that's the power of Hoplite Phalanx. It gives your guys a 5 bonus for his infantry. They've gotten 56 kills, almost traded cost effectively. Well done. Now the Thracian Royal Cavalry is moving over here. Uh, Heavy Horse is, is there to support. Uh, honestly at this point what he should do is just bring in a Levy Free and just charge in with his Heavy Horse. Because he's got the numbers advantage. If he can kill off the Thracian Royal Cav, then these Thra Thracian Slingers are bound to start routing very soon. And so might the Thracian Warriors too. But actually it might be a bit too premature. So he's he's staying defensive. He knows he's got the, the tankiness to help him win out this game. And uh, it's very interesting. Because this Thracian Noble Surround could be just the downfall of the Boi. And they're, they're desperately running out of meat shields. Only one levy free at 30 men here, and one levy free at 43 men here. And after that, it's all the juicy targets. So, honestly, if I was if I was the Jason Kingdom player, I would kill off this station, this levy free, and this oats, uh, and this sword follower. I mean, this is these are this is great use of Thracian slingers as well. You can see the oats are dying very quickly now. There, but there are three better targets: one, two, and three. You should have been firing into one of these three units instead. Because the Oath Sworn are going to get destroyed by Thracian Nobles, but only if the Thracian Nobles get a clean charge. And the only way the Thracian Nobles can get a clean charge is if these pesky units are eradicated. And now, beautiful charge here by the Thracian Royal Cavalry, killing off the uh, killing off the Levy Freeman. They're still at full strength, and, uh, and a Thracian Royal Cavalry at full strength is definitely a force to be reckoned with. But I think it's just a bit too much, because there we have uh, an Oath Sworn at 69, an Oath Sworn at 117, and an Oath Sworn at 99 men for Sniffles with the Bowie Eye. And not notwithstanding, full strength sword followers and with 120 men, there's just very little chance for um, for his opponent to really bring this back. He's going to need the Thracian nobles to get you know multiple charges, and that's just impossible because they will be busy fighting the old one who have more than enough staying power to you know hold them down while the the sword followers come in to hit them in the rear. Either he's going to need the Thracian slingers to get amazing kills. And here you can see the Thracian slingers. This. How am I predicting? Why am I so good at commentating? Wow, I'm so sorry for that. Fuck, that was cringe. Um, Thracian, the heavy horse down to 19 men. And Thracian, wow, that that sword followers just got 11 kills on Thracian Royal Cavalry with that one <laughs> precursor javelin. Holy shit. And now the Thracian Royal Cavalry jumped down to 40. Wow, the tides have turned. Heavy horse down to 15 men. They're going to keep chasing after the Thracian Royal Cav. So yeah, beautifully done by, by Sniffles. They're taking so much damage now. They're down to 26 men. Oh, how the tables have turned. He's popping second win so that they can desperately run away from the heavy horse. Well done there, you know, uh, using whatever resources he had left to just run away with the station Royal Cap Gen. He's going to absolutely need them to stay alive. 
But yeah, that's what happens. I mean, he just ran out of units. The, his main downfall was using the Thracian warriors so prematurely. If he had two or three Thracian warriors to help support his uh, his Thracian royal cav, no matter, even if they had like 20, 30 men, then it would have been just a completely different story. They could have killed off the heavy horse and they could have pulled away. Yep. Thracian slinger is getting good shots onto the rear of the sword followers and killing them off. Let's go ahead and fast forward the rest of this. He's... Uh, Bobby is going to, uh, sorry, uh, Sniffles is going to be in the in the forest, smartly done, because this would impede the charge bonus of the uh, of the remaining Otisian Kingdom units, and of course the Thracian Slingers, right? Uh, so the Heavy Horse dying the um, Thracian Royal Cavalry down to 29 men, oh sorry, 19 men now. So what I was saying was the Thracian Slingers will not be able to be as effective as the uh, as they would be in open ground. 46 kills, 19 kills, and 25 kills. They have done pretty 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 done well. Who should be fighting that? He needs to take every opportunity uh, by the balls, basically. Seize every opportunity and try and get, try and maximize the the killing power of his Thracian slingers at this point. Otherwise, it's just I don't see how he's going to win this. He's got uh, two Thracian nobles at fresh. Good shots here. Uh, Old Swan dying. They're down to 97, down to 93. Well done there. Down to 80. No, nothing. Still at 93. Ooh, ball plate. Okay. So the old Thracian nobles get a charge in on sword followers. They're still down to 35. So that is a crucial meat shield unit there. And this sword follower down to 3. And he's going to uh, pull back his Thracian nobles. And then he should get a second charge on this old sword. Does he get it? Does he get it though? Thracian noble. Do they get a second charge? They don't get a second charge. Ooh, that's it. That's it. That's the decider right there. They didn't get a second charge on the old sword general. But the old sword general still takes so much damage. Holy shit. Yeah, they still take so much damage, and this Thracian Noble got a clean charge on the Zord Stone. And let's see... Yeah, they take a lot of damage on the charge. Where's the Thracian Royal Cav Gen? Thracian Royal Cav Gen still chilling. He should be... Why the fuck is he all the way there? He should be back here. And here, uh, let's see, uh, the Thracian Warrior is going to come into a full strength uh, Sword Follower. Going to get 13 f kills on the charge, 14 kills, and then just drop, drop, and drop, and drop. Uh, Thracian Royal Cavalry still at 19, still chilling there. The Thracian Nobles down to 64 men, and the Odris, uh, the Boya Otsun General down to 23. Honestly, he should pull back and then rear charge this Otsun. This Otsun has done very well against the Thracian Nobles. They're down to uh, yeah, they've yeah. This game's over. Yeah, well, well played to both players. Well played to Sniffles for utilizing the terrain to his advantage at the last second. It's beautifully done. Well played to the Utrician Kingdom player, using the Thracian Slingers to their maximum potential. Still getting good shots and Gender recently died. Also, I'm going to get a lot of, uh, take a lot of damage there. Uh, Mercenary Hoplite is here, going to ch uh, chase after the Sword Followers. And then this Thracian Warrior is going to get a clean charge on these Sword Followers. Sword Followers are going to take so much damage on the charge to, to Thracian Warriors. And Mercenary Hoplite as well. Thracian Nobles could have rear charged. If he got some rear charges now, maybe could have turned the tide. Uh, but the Thracian Nobles there did very well actually, 173 kills with a triple XP chevron. They've done very well. But this Sword Follower, ooh, if he can rear charge with the Thracian Nobles against these two Sword Followers, he can do very well. That would be a big deal. But so, uh, Old Swan at 36, Old Swan at 69, and Sword Follower at 98. That's going to be the clincher. No, rear charge, rear charge. Oh, but you, there's Old Swan there. So I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, frontal charge. Still get decent number of kills. Honestly, if he just pulls back and gets a third charge, that could be good enough. Yeah, he's going to pull back and get a, get a third charge. Thracian Slingers out of ammo. Going to die for their... Uh, die for Thrace. Thrace. <laughs> going to die for Odyssea. Um, hold off these sword followers. Let, not let them get a charge. They're going to just cleave through them and just pull straight through. I mean, I'm sure that that wasn't intentional. Uh, but now the, the Thracian no warriors don't get a proper charge in against the sword followers. Kind of derping out there. But I would be very surprised if they didn't get a single XP shot run, at the very least. Yeah, they're, they're racking up the kills now. Uh, Thracian Royal Cavalry General not utilized effectively by Odyssey Kingdom. Should be rear charging now, should be rear charging for days. The Oath Zone are so depleted at this point. Uh, yeah, if he get, goes for this Oath Zone, they would do very well. 77 kills, 78 kills, still racking up the kills, these Thracian Warriors. Uh, Mercenary Hoplite is still not on Hoplite Phalanx. Um, and then uh, Old Swan here got a rear charge by got rear charged by the uh, Thracian Royal Cav. Wow, very close. 
but yeah, this sword follower, fuck me, he did well with that station Y at the end of the day. Uh, sword follower here going to rear charge this mercenary hop today. How the fuck? That sword follower was at 98 minutes, dropped down to 28? Are you serious? Is that the same? No, it probably was this. Holy shit. Well done. Very awesome game to watch. Despite the fact that it was like 25 minutes, it was still a lot of fun. Thank you very much to Sniffles for sending me this awesome, awesome replay. Um, and um, let me see who is his opponent. Celsidus. Oh, wow. Well played to Celsidus. Very well played to Celsidus. Um, you can see the uh, Thracian Nobles did well. Well, one, that's the problem with Thracian Nobles, man. One of them does well, the second one doesn't do well, compared to Oathstone, who always do well, you know? And Jesus Christ, the spam was real, but <laughs> with, with the Thracian Warriors. Nine total Thracian Warriors. Holy shit. Uh, Thracian Slingers did well. Thracian Royal Cavalry could have done a lot better, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, Sniffles also played very well. Well played to both players. And uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you to Sniffles for sending this to me. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.